Last night, DCU's Students' Union launched a campaign to halt the deportation of DCU's University of Sanctuary student, Shepard Makaya. One day, I think it was just a week or so before we started school in September, then I got that and it really hit me hard. I don't want to lie. It was like a shock of my life. I, did, I didn't know what to do. Like, then I remember when we started school on the 24th, like, uh, I opened my computer and I was looking at my computer. I couldn't really think straight because since I opened that letter with the bad news, like it's something which I cannot get off my head. Every time whatever I am doing, like it's something which like to be honest, it's depressing. That's the best way like to put it. It's really, really depressing. Depressing. Mikhail fled to Ireland from Zimbabwe eight years ago to seek asylum during the political reign of Robert Mugabe, then leader of the Zvenu PF party. My situation in Zimbabwe was very, very difficult. It was political. Like where I come from, uh, it's a ZANU PF uh, stronghold. ZANU PF is the ruling party of Zimbabwe. Following Mugabe's impeachment in 2017, Shepard was refused asylum in Ireland after eight years in direct provision. However, Due to the new PF still holding power in Zimbabwe, he feels his country is unsafe to return to. The person that removed him is someone that has been with him from the beginning. He was his second, like, and is someone that has killed a lot of people. He's known for having killed, like, thousands of people, really. And they are still using the same policies. In a last bid to aid Mackay, the Students' Union launched their SOS Save Our Shepherd campaign in the hopes of stopping his deportation. So far, 3,000 people have signed the petition urging Justice Minister Charlie Flanagan to revoke the deportation. Shepherd was issued with a deportation order uh, and he's been ordered to leave the country by Sunday. DCU students as a whole are putting the movement behind Shepherd and getting the ball rolling on something really big. DCU TV News has reached out to Minister for Justice and Equality Charles Flanagan for comment. We are awaiting a response. This has been Eva Horan for DCU TV News.